hello guys welcome back in the last video uh, we have created the courses if you have not watched the last video you can go and watch it i'll put the link in the description so in this video we are going to add a 2 fa on our filament panel so for that we will use one package breezy session for filament okay so this package help us for the enhanced security for our filament so so let me just install the package okay let me just install this Uh, yes no okay let me clear so I think it has created a new migration for us breezy sessions okay after that uh, I don't need views I am not going to modify anything for that so after that what we need to do is we need to go to our panel which is our mm, admin panel and here we just need to add uh, the plugin so i don't have any plugins used okay let me just add a new plugin and here i need to use breezy uh, breezy core right that's it i think this will work refresh okay it's not showing it mm. busy core and after that we need to add the profile section uh, let me just copy the all things okay so let us check one by one so the first one is if I refresh it there is okay I have already got this personal information fields and the passport field where I can change my passport and after that it is I think in default uh, should register navigation okay in the next video we will going to check how we can customize it so now for 2FA what we need to do is okay better I we don't care for that so we are just looking for no so this is how we can create the custom component if we need in future we can do that okay okay now we need to enable this track on our user model this implements uh, what is its name two factor authentication okay. two factor authentication okay it's not importing yet just import manually okay it is not an cannot implement source okay I need to use it my bad it's a trait let me just refresh it okay okay still I can't see the functionality and here I need to add this thing in the my panel mm. 
Let me just refresh it. Okay, now I can see the two factor authentication. If I try to enable this, okay, I need to use my password. Confirm. Okay, I got this. So I am testing it from my phone. Okay, let me just okay scan a QR code from my phone. Okay, confirm and finish. So my code is seven seven four eight five two. Okay, that's it. So if I will try to sign in again, now it will ask for the two FA code, right? Suppose if I will random code, so it's invalid. So let me just test from my phone. Okay, two seven three one two eight. And that's it so this much for this video this is a short video in which we are talking about how we can create 2fa on our filament panel so we will continue our inventory management system from the next video thank you